Hey guys, so today I'm talking about Dahlia, the new Rogue Company character that just got unleashed recently. I'm gonna give you guys the tips and tricks on how to play this character effectively. Also talk about updates, the new arena map, just some pretty cool stuff between her and Saint, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys are a new viewer, consider subscribing. I make a lot of Rogue Company video guides. Also for all you new players, I have a lot of good content. And for everyone else that's been watching my videos, thank you guys for the support, and let's check out this video. Hey guys, before I start this video, I want to make a quick explanation to my new viewers or recent viewers. Uh, I'm someone that actually likes to draw on the screen. And what I mean by that is actually give you guys like representation of what to do, what not to do. It makes it easy for me to explain and for you guys to learn. At the same time, you guys will see some icons on the upper right hand corner or the bottom. It might look too busy. It might look ugly, not clean. But honestly, if I can teach you guys by drawing with this application, then it'll make things easier. I really wouldn't mind these things because it really doesn't really take your focus on what's in front of you. Uh, but again, I just want to teach you guys, help you guys along the way so you guys can become better rogue players. So without further ado, let's talk about Dahlia Strikeout. So you guys know right off the bat, you guys start off with a lot of cash, a lot of money. I usually pick up a primary and a gadget. I'm going to start with DMR and a grenade. As you guys progress, you guys can do more, pick up more. Um, you guys get the legit. Uh, quick thing too about Dahlia. She's a support character. Think of her as a saint. Um, I would say saint and her are probably 1A, 1B. I like them both. Uh, but you get to link up with a rogue and get their passive. If you guys see a lancer or a saint, get either or. Just because lancer, you get that passive ability to reload as you roll. And then saint, when you do the revive, you self heal and heal the teammate that's reviving. So again... Okay pretty pretty op stuff and uh yeah let's talk about what she can do and how you guys can improve so um you know she has smg that gun is really good close range you gotta have good control on that recoil but if you're someone that knows how to shoot with scorched gun chalk and lancer you'll be fine trust me uh just make sure you guys land those shots but dmr it's more of a distant gun as you guys will see right now i like to stand back uh, the reason why is because I am a medic and as you guys saw right now my teammate was down I could have revived them, but they got taken down uh, I like to stand back and kind of help my teammates along the way um, I do like to play aggressive you guys will see that in this match that I do play aggressive uh, But again, it's me playing smart saving those lives as you guys can see strikeout is based on either capturing the objective Which most people don't do uh, It's pretty much either objective or wipe out the squad and most of the time, 90% of the time, I don't know why I got 90%, but most of the time, it's about just wiping the squad out. So here comes my answer. Pick up my pistol because it's easier to do the hit fire. Personally speaking, it's easier with the pistol than the DMR. DMR has a very harsh recoil when you're doing hit fire. As you aim down, it's a lot easier. Here we go. These guys are a pretty good squad. I would think they're pretty stacked. I mean, you know, probably teamed up or they're just good individually as you guys will see as each round we progress things get intense so again strikeout is about night dying as much trying to wipe out the other team right now we're at three versus ten you guys will see that on the top side so three lives versus ten lives if you do the math we're pretty much out of here so let's see what we can do hold the distance i do the revive you see my teammate they got taken down again i couldn't do the revive completely I get sniped. Let's see what we can do. This doesn't mean I like you. Remember, we're at one versus 10. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Again, guys, I'll also talk about some updates. Talk about some new things, the road company that I wanna discuss with you guys, uh, just so you guys are informed about what's coming soon for this game. Also, I do wanna uh, thank you guys for just, um, you know, responding to my community posts. Uh, I do find it that when you guys vote, you guys respond a lot better than you guys commenting. And do keep in mind, I have seen the Apex, you guys wanting Revenant. And then also I did see the uh, SEO. I know you guys have a question about that in terms of helping you guys. Whether you guys are a content creator, someone barely getting started, I'm going to teach you guys the ways on marketing and SEO. Also other cool things that can help you guys expand your brand. Uh, just know I've heard you guys 
I am uh, reading the comments and all that stuff. So thank you guys for the support. So we're at zero and six. I don't know why we're still alive, but we're alive. All right, we're pinging our teammates, letting them know they're there. Back up, that roll move is key. Do keep in mind, guys, when you guys are using Dahlia, stay within 30 meters of your teammates so you can revive them. Otherwise, if they're past 30, if it's 30 and greater, no good. Make sure it's 30 and less with all my chicken scratch on the screen. And what I mean by that is that you can revive a teammate without being near them. So they could be in Narnia within 30 meters. You can revive. Um, but do keep in mind you can revive your teammates as well. It doesn't mean you only revive the one you're linked up to. But you get that special ability plus the passive. Which I really like Lancer's ability. So I'm technically a Lancer. I'm a hybrid. There we go. And make sure, guys, you swap weapons. You guys get another primary. Don't stick to that pistol. Pick up another primary. So you guys are goaded. You guys are either dealing at a long distance or mid-range. We're going through the backside. Remember, guys, we're at 0 and 9 or 0 and 10. Now 0, 0. And they only have one person. So you're seeing the beauty of, you know, I'm not dying much. And I don't die much in this uh, whole game. But it's very critical. Strikeout, you know, is a game mode where you guys get the look and feel of a character. Let me pause that and I'll talk to you guys about that in a minute. But let me tell you guys what I'm going to do next. Definitely, definitely pick up this new medic one. This one speeds up the process very quickly for you reviving your teammates and the link up revive with the Lancer. So just okay. make sure you guys pick up the necessary perks so you guys are again boss moves. So as I was saying, um, Strikeout is very arcadey, you know, very gun and shoot, but it's a great way for you guys to understand which rogue you guys like to play with and also just learn different tactics demolition you got to be very careful that one's more that's where i think rank will come into it's more you being smart planning before the attack and just following through so i say do strike out to warm up to learn demolition is where you really are going to see whether you're better than the opposing team uh because i've played strike out with some sweaty squads and man they just back you up and then they're getting you at the spawn and it's cool it's a little annoying but in demolition you can't do that so just know there's a difference between the two but you do learn a lot from both modes again here we go double down too much going on here no worries play it smart guys i like the dmr because i get to hold that distance if i get you know my good three four shots i get that takedown especially if you get those headshots and if you guys have a hard time aiming to the head aim at the shoulder neck area you guys will get it. There we go. We took down Lancer. There we go. Phantom down with that assist. Hold that distance. Continue to shoot. Almost, Dahlia. I'm at four. Get knocked easily by Lancer. I think that was a snipe. But you're going to see the revives come into great play in this type of game mode because you're trying to last as long as you guys can uh, before the other team takes you guys out. Here we go. You're going to see the fast revive pretty soon of why that perk is critical. Do the revive. Teammate is doing it. So look, the revive. Very quick. Very fast. Very, very uh, smart move. And there's a lot more of that you guys are going to see as we progress. Here goes Anvil. Machine gun. Too strong. Too strong. Again, a pretty well-balanced team on both sides. Uh, I have a good team. I played with them before randomly, and I got obviously queued up with them randomly. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but with updates, I want to tell you guys there's going to be some good stuff. It sounds like probably next Wednesday there's going to be the ranked uh probably unleashing along with the player identity so you can probably read some background on each row character so that'll be pretty cool but we're really looking for rank i think it's just changing up the meta uh you know playing some pubs and then playing some rank man just to see where you guys stand that'll be pretty sweet so here we go 
Remember guys, as Lancer, I have the ability to do the roll automatic reload. I like the DMR because you have a good recoil, mid, long range, even short range. For SMG, that gun is a new gun, has a nice sound, uh, but I wanted to use a DMR here just because I can handle that gun. Uh, not to say SMG I can't, but mid to long range weapons works best in this map. It's my personal preference that I would choose a DMR, but don't get me wrong, short mid range can work as well. So let's continue to push, we're at 710. Uh, as I was saying, the updates, rank is going to come through. Uh, Dr. Disrespect map, as I mentioned in my other video, that is looking good too. They're having the stills. They're just unleashing more and more. So that's pretty cool. Um, along with that, new skins every Wednesday. So keep your eyes peeled on that. Um, so yeah, I'm really interested in seeing rank. What other new things they uh, do? Because uh, it looks like they're getting to phase three. Uh, I think once they complete all the phases, they might get out of beta and just you know finally make it a real game but still you know make those updates make those changes but with the game unleashing for everyone for free and i welcome all you free players the ones that have uh just started playing real company welcome um yeah it's, it's gonna get better and better over time and there's definitely more exposure i see more people playing on, on twitch uh people on youtube so that's good it's good to see this game is not dying down and they're doing whatever they can to keep bringing people into the game with us. Dr. Disrespect, 100 Thieves, Skins. Uh, they're really investing a lot into um, this game. And uh, that's really good. All right. We're linked up with Lancer. Look at my meters. We're at 28. So we're still good to revive. We're at 33. No bueno. Remember when it's yellow or green, you're good. Red, no good. Back up. So I use... Um, Dahlia like Saint. I'm a medic. I can play hard too. And look at that fast revive. You're just seeing work. Like these revives keep you in the game. Otherwise, if you don't have someone as a medic, we would be at zero. So know how important it is to have someone that can revive, heal up your teammates because things get a little intense. All right, remember I'm close to my teammate. Teammate is down, do the revive. Look straight ahead. Teammate takes out Lancer. Look at that. That is easy peasy. There goes Anvil. Sweet. I swapped out to the Lancer gun. And I'm doing that roll. Look at that. 3-0. We have, we have everything going to our side. We have the objective. We don't need to push forward. Our thirst doesn't need to keep going. We could just stand back. But you're seeing the gameplay. Make sure you guys ping. Make sure you guys let your teammates know, hey, they're here. Communication is everything. I hate that smoke. And here, I make a mistake, guys. So I remember in my videos, I mentioned, don't do the roll when you're entering a fight, and you'll see why. I think I'm good, but not good enough. So you saw, I barely did anything. I took one shot. The enemy was able to shoot me while I rolled. That's where I find that an issue. Uh, just jump in, bunny hop, push through, don't roll because that throws you off, kills time, you get knocked, it's game over. Zero, zero. All right, play smart. 3v2. Now this is where my revive comes into play. Remember, having more teammates on your side is critical. Phantom gets taken down. Do the revive. I hear footsteps, step back, DMR, hit fire, hit fire, go to sleep. There we go. That's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. All right. Link up again with Lancer. Beef up your weapons. Get the perks that you guys need. Honestly, there's no meta. As long as you guys get the um, revive, your primary, your gadget. Beef up your weapon. Get that fast revive. You're goaded. All right, let's see what we can do here. So yeah, Dahlia, she's a new player. Uh, definitely recommend her um, if you guys like Saint. Obviously, there needs to be some sort of liking of a character before you really like them. And for me, I'm an all-around guy. I like to play as all the characters. 
except Phantom just because I cannot snipe for my life. Her DMR isn't bad though, but here we go. As you guys saw, there was a smoke which disoriented the vision. They came through. We knocked down Lancer. So smoke grenades is a great way to fog up an area, to have a barricade, to trap them in some way. So smoke grenades, they work. Or you can use a smoke grenade when your teammate is down. Throw it down. Revive. There you go. Here I make a mistake. I'm trying to bust a Rambo. Knock out my teammate. Um, it's all good. Mistakes happen. Even me that I play this game a lot. I make some mistakes. Um, but what I will say guys is. If you guys are looking to play. With some really good players. And I mean sweaty type players. Play at night. And I'm saying 8. 8 p.m. your time eastern pacific standard time wherever you guys are at night is where you actually play with some real players and i play with some teams that i get spanked like i get knocked like i don't even get many kills uh i stay probably in the single digits but don't let that discourage you because remember they're a fully stacked team they're communicating they have synergy um you're playing with randoms which that's what i play with and you're gonna win some lose some you're gonna get smacked but it's okay like it's it's not the end of the world because if i'm with a team uh at their same level then it's a different story because i could hold my own uh but if you're with a team that barely started playing the game you're going to run into that so just keep that in mind guys it's sometimes discouraging but you guys can't control that sometimes there's going to be those those teams that are just thinking they are godlike but in honesty they're really not they're just lucky to uh play with other players that are just not fully stacked but no pun intended to the other teams man you guys i played you guys you guys are pretty good and continue to grind so we're at 22 12 12 9 revives almost close to a quadruple double well, that's pretty nice right there look at that nine revives says a lot if we don't get those revives i think we would get sweeped in this uh match so remember, beef up what you need to, get what you need to, and let's run it again. Final round. So again, remember, play at a distance. You know, Dahlia, be near your linked character. And just play smart. Like I always tell you guys, use the angles. All right, let's check out that grenade. Let's throw that smoke. Teammate gets knocked. Let's see if we do a revive. They get knocked. Continue to shoot. Ooh. Teammate is here. I'm doing the revive. That's number one in this match. Go back. Find the shield. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. See? DMR just takes about, what, three, four? Revive? Look at that. I'm shooting, reviving. It's like Saint. Uh, I just find them 1A, 1B, man. I can't tell you who's better. My preference, because I like to play as someone who saves my teammates. You'll see it again. Revive real fast. Let's get back to work. Phantom drops down. Roll over. Let's hurt her. That's okay. Now the teammates know that I'm reviving. We're working together. There we go. We're at 8-4. You're seeing these revives are not a waste. I get knocked again. Continue to progress. Continue to push. My teammate tried. Don't worry. It's all good. 28, 13, 17. I think that was 12. We already have a quadruple double. That's pretty good stats. That's that's boss moves. I thought I fell into the C, but nope. Try to get a shot here. Nope. Progress. Keep moving. We see Dahlia shooting here. Tap, 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 tap. So you're seeing how strong the DMR is. I get knocked. Man, they're playing sweaty. 2 1, 2 0. Get closer to my teammate so we can hide. There we go. Let's get back into action. Check the grenade. Ooh, Lancer's hurt. She gets taken down. 
Phantom is in the backside. We're stuck here. Go left. Oh, man. That's it. Let's close out. She's hiding in the back. Revive. There we go. Oh, man. Toxic, toxic, toxic. But a pretty good game. Very good game. So you guys saw her abilities. You know, her linking with a passive is super, super sweet. Uh, the fact that she could do revives very fast. Awesome. Um, and that you could revive your um, link teammate from a distance from 30 meters. That's just a game changer. Uh, look at these stats. 30 eliminations, 13 revives, 14 downs, 9 deaths. That's not bad. Not bad. Um, again, that's what I'm telling you guys. Like, if you guys can last and strike out, it's a good way to practice because demolition, you die, you have to wait till the next round. Um, so, strikeout is a great way for you to kind of get better game sense, how to last long in a match. That way, it gives you guys good practice because it's like constant action, and then you get to kind of get a better feel of that rogue character. Uh, let's see the overall stats. Let's roll it through. All right, here we go. Okay, final stats. So, as you guys saw, we are the leader. 30, 14, 13. I think the assist, we got up to, I think, 17 or 20. Uh, I just got to look at that uh, stat sheet that I pressed the um, stats before on the game on the last round. But, again, this is pretty good, man. Like, the fact that I was able to get 13 revives... And my team got three, four. That saves a lot of lives over time. Um, obviously, the other Dahlia was good too. Uh, I would say I'm the better player though. Uh, but yeah, overall, Dahlia, Saint, I find them 1A, 1B. But if you guys see a Saint or Lancer, link up with them. Either or. But overall, it's a really good game. I'm excited for the new updates. I hope you guys learned a lot here. Uh, please like the video, comment below, let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you guys until the next one. Later.